Hello, YouTube. How you doing today? It is Thursday. Cold outside. I'm trying to block him. There's Jason. We got his jacket in. Come forward, J Jason. We can see that little red dot. We got his heated jacket in. He likes it, but I don't know if Amazon did this or who did this this way, but it was kind of misleading. It's called Milwaukee Leather. And if you go on Amazon and you look, and you look at the Amazon, or look on there for the Milwaukee heated um, hoodies, it is wrote nearly the same way. And you gotta go down and really kind of look at it before you realize it's Milwaukee Leather is the company. Um, so we got this jacket in, which I told him I'd send it back. He likes it. Um, we don't have a Milwaukee to compare it with. To, you know, is it the same or not? It is heating. Here is the battery and the system that this jacket runs on. If you'll come closer right here where we can kind of see it. I can zoom in a little bit on it. And this is the battery. We just now charged it up. It charged all night. So he switched to that. He's been running on this Milwaukee setup here, you know, where we have the little 12 volt battery and this little apparatus that does this and it's got your port, USB port. He's been using this while that battery was charging. We charged it all night, so it's on it. It has in the sleeves here, he's showing, uh, I guess you could get heated gloves and this is where they would plug in. A little disappointed that we wasn't ordering a Milwaukee jacket and it was mixed in between those. So when I came across this, the Milwaukee jackets, like we couldn't get them for four weeks, five weeks, six weeks. And this jacket we was gonna be able to get in a week. And, but I thought I was ordering a regular Milwaukee jacket. Uh, it cost $159 on Amazon. And so we're using it. I gave him the option to send it back. He said he likes it and we're using it. So. We'll see what it is. I told him to wear it this, this season, and if he wanted another one next year, I'd get him a different one next year. But anyway, that's that. Uh, we got in a few other things that I want to show you. We're running a test. We're still kind of testing these lights. We're running battery tests, and I'm logging, keeping up with you know the time used on uh, the batteries and things like that. So we're going to have that coming to you. We didn't do a new Tool Tuesday this week because I had some things in the family going on and couldn't do one. We've gotten in the uh, sander. Let's show the sander right here. We got in the 20 volt orbital sander that Milwaukee, Milwaukee, that DeWalt has been really talking and hyping up. So we got this in, it runs on a 20 volt battery. Got Velcro on the bottom to put your pads on. It's got a port here for a bag and it locks on. You just twist it like this, unlocks, put it on, twist it and it's locked. And I'm sure you can put an adapter on this and run a vacuum cleaner if you want. So that's that. We'll have some more talk of it when we get to use it. We're using the DeWalt 20 volt propane heater. We've been using that quite a bit. No problems, no issues, really like it. Love it. Love it. Man, it heats this whole house up on low real quick. We had it on high a while ago, just really putting the heat out to boost the temperature up. We're uh, you know, gonna put central heat and air in here. We only got one little gas heater and uh, central heat and air is ordered. I had, uh, let me show you this, I had to add it door put in yesterday right here the attic door of course the ceilings are plastered and that broke off and we got to cut that out to get some sheetrock put in but that's the attic door we got to trim it out we've also got in I wanted one of these one of the uh, chargers that's a you know, uh, like their battery generator. We're gonna open that up. Might be handy during the winter time if we have a power outage. Uh, as Jason opens that, I'll tell you. Also, uh, 
on my Toyota TRD Pro, I'm putting a bed rack and I'm gonna put a roof tent on it and do a little camping. I was just talking to Jason about getting him a tent, that he needed to get a tent and go with me. And I probably will take this when I go uh, to have power. This may be the last tools, Jason and I was just talking, that I ordered. Uh, he said, I'm a tool junkie. I said, I know I'm gonna have to go to counseling and uh, I gotta try to get off of this stuff before it breaks me. But anyway, let me show you this thing. This is a portable power station. I'm sure you've probably seen it. You put four batteries on it for your job site and beyond. 3,600 peak watts, 1,800 continuous watts. So it'll pull, you know, I know they were saying a refrigerator and they were telling how many hours, how many hours it pulled TV and so on. And I thought this might be something that was kind of uh, handy, you know, to have around um, with as many rental properties as I have. But this is kind of the way I'm gonna run it, which right now I've got two of the nine amp hours on here and I've got two of the six amp hour, you know, the 20 volt, 60 volt flex volts. You turn it on right here. This is where you plug up to charge it. And this is your outlet for your power out. And I can tell you that is heavy without any batteries on it. And when you get four of those big batteries, boy, it's got some weight. You're getting ready to use the Milwaukee 12 volt caulk gun? We're gonna be testing the generator out. I'm gonna be testing the 20 volt orbital sander out. And we'll come to you on, uh, you know, a new Tool Tuesday and kind of tell you our thoughts on that. Hopefully next Tuesday we'll be ready to do a review on this because I wanted to run all different amp hour batteries in these and keep up with the times and that way I can come to you and just kind of tell you, you know, how they're operating, how long they'll burn, so on like that. If you got any questions about anything, just put them down in the comments. I'll make sure Jason answers them. Uh, other than that, we thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'm gonna tell you guys, I just don't get any bad comments and I mean, y'all are just so kind and so nice, and I know my videos aren't the best in the world, and I know I don't have the most dynamic personality and all that kind of stuff, and y'all just overlook all that, and you're just like, man, this is an awesome video, great video, keep up the good work. You encourage me to go on, and a lot of times dealing with this camera and YouTube and the time that it takes to do that, it takes encouragement to go on. And so you encouraged me to go on and I appreciate that very much. Jason, he's running, uh, he was saying a while ago, he hasn't ran the battery that came with this jacket because he was, we wanted to put a charge on it for, uh, you know, at least 12 hours before he used it. So we did that, he put that battery in and he's like, whoa, this joker's getting hot. So we're thinking maybe that battery is set up more for that jacket than running that Milwaukee that we were running because it was just kind of doing a, lukewarm yeah. and he was like a while ago he was like man this sucker's getting hot and so, what did you say cooking chicken kicking chicken kicking chicken so uh, anyway guys we thank you for watching subscribe like button notifications Woo! thank you guys we'll see you again in a few days just had a lot going on uh, Man, I can't even think. Uh, we've had uh, hot, hot water heater issues. We've had toilet issues. That gate. We've had gate issues. On uh, I've got a few properties. Got you know the uh, backyards are fenced in, and you know. There's we, nothing more fun than taking apart a macerating toilet pump because you'll just have to Google it. Yeah, it's we uh, we have a uh, in our school that we do the maintenance on. There's several of those toilets that have the pumps on them uh, that pumps, you know, the everything out, the waste. And uh, Jason, he got to take one apart today and uh, clean it out. And uh, then we went and ate lunch after that. But anyway, 
uh, I, I was trying to think. Let's see, I've had heat, heating and air issues. I mean, when the seasons change, I notice like when we're coming into winter, you know, things will come up, you know, with your heating and air, other things with the house, doors are not closing. And we go and take the, um, that, uh, what, what was it we bought? The planer, planer, you know, and plane the doors off and then paint them back and stuff like that. Uh, just a lot of things. And then when we come back into spring and we start switching back over to warm weather, you know, we'll have issues. But everything will kind of level out here, you know, pretty soon as this cold weather sets in. So anyway, guys, just wanted to come and make a video for you. We really appreciate you. We love you. We like you. God bless all of you. And y'all have a safe holidays, but we'll see you before Christmas. And I say Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year. Jay says, I'll talk for him. See you later. <laughs>